Hey everyone, I wanted to give an update on the house. A little slower this time, so we can get some detail in. So, we're in the upstairs third bedroom. This will give you an idea how we're coming along. All the doors and casements are in. Closets are done. Electrical's going in. This is the detail on all of our doors. There's our windows. I'm, I'm using Anderson window casement windows. I went through every brand. In the long run, these just seem to work better for myself. It's not saying that it's the absolute, but it just works best for me, okay? In the bathrooms, we have tongue and groove wainscoting. As you can see, it goes two thirds of the way up the ceiling. This bathroom is ready for these tile right here. This will be the floor. This will be the walls. We want to start installing this in the morning and get it wrapped up. Moving in through here, give you a good look. This is the hallway. This is the linen closet. Nice and quick look here. The tile is down in the laundry room, which is what we're stepping into. Here's a good look of how it's going to turn out. Even on the top, on all of these cabinets, there's always, you know, it's, it's a divot in there. We have a flat top across the top so she can easily store anything she wants. Another good look at the tile. There we go. Back through the hallway. We're stepping into the first, the second bedroom rather. And again, we have tongue and groove on the ceiling. Tongue and groove wainscoting here. And then all the walls in here will be wallpaper throughout. There's our windows cased out and painted. This is the closet for this bedroom. And this is the extra storage I did in the earlier video that you can see that we found. Yes, it looks creepy looking at it here, but it's really cool once you get back in there. It's really a cool spot. The tile is already down in the floor ready for the wall tile to be installed in here and then some more wainscoting and then this one will be complete once we install the vanity coming out now we're looking in the hallway that's down towards the weight room now we step into the next bedroom and this bedroom same thing tongue and groove crown another door detail same thing two-thirds up wainscoting then all of these walls, minus that doorway pocket area, will be wallpaper. And here's a sneak peek, one of the windows are open. There's some of your view when you're looking at your bedroom. Can't beat that, right? And then here are the guys hard at work, painting. I can't show you the floor because obviously they're spray painting and we don't want to mess up the floors. Same thing, Wayne's coating. This closet is done. Excuse me, Oscar. And then we come in here. This is that extra other extra storage storage space we found. We're actually going to put lights in here. You see, we have AC. It's going to be a cool playroom. They'll probably turn into a storeroom, private area, whatever, as the children grow. Okay, now moving out of there, come back in, hang a left in the hallway again. This will be the ladies of the house desk right here. There's looking at the stairwell, weight room, and then remember this is a lifted floor system because of the ceiling of the living room downstairs, so we step up into what's called the game room. Here's your closet, I mean, sorry, here's your windows with your view. Maybe I can get you a sneak peek right here. There it is, what a view, huh? Incredible. Now, originally, this is going to be built-ins, built-ins with the TV. And this is one of the things I love about my job is that we can pivot. So the client decided storage was more important in this particular area. So we ordered two three foot doors, two sets. So I have three foot, three foot, three foot, three foot, and we'll close this off with drywall. And then this will be storage. And then we took those built-ins and put them on this wall. So we have our base here, quartz across the top, and then these are the tops. Let's slide one around a little bit to give you a look. This is our tops. And we'll put a top here, comes across, another top down here. And now the TV will go here. It's just 
better fit for the client. Okay, now, walking back into the hall, this is a closet that is actually the smart station of the house where we put all the Wi-Fi and everything. Then we step into the weight room area. I get to give you another sneak peek of some views. Chicken coop, raised flower bed. Look at that view, huh? And we turn around here, storage, case opening, infrared sauna system will be setting right here. And then turn around where you work out. TV goes here and this symmetrical storage system for each side of the TV to make good use of the space. This actually extends over the master, which you'll see shortly. And then this is the attic storage to get into the attic to service their air handlers. All right. Now the entryway, the customer wanted a little more pop. So here we go. We did wainscoting across the entire thing. This is another pivot situation. Here's the look of what it will look like. The painters are already painting it. Let me step down a few more steps here. Your front door, wainscoting everywhere. There's this finished look. Imagine the chandelier hanging right here. Really neat, really cool. Now, this was the husband's office. And for what I'm gonna show you shortly outside, he realized that there's gonna be a lot of children to the house and he does a lot of Zoom calls and there's no way this will work out for him. So this is now the craft room and we're going to do the same wainscoting on the walls, maybe some shelves, that's to be determined. When we did the master, the customer loved the beam so much this is the dining room. It was originally going to be just a regular coffered ceiling. And if you look, these, in the original design, this is, we're going to box beams in the bedrooms. This is actual oak, extremely heavy. So we had to cut into the walls to make supports to hold up these heavy structures. And if you look real close, you see the little circles. Those are bolts that we have inside. And then we did cores out of other scrap pieces of wood and covered up the bolt holes um she really loves it i think they look fantastic all right so let's keep on track this is just a little open area i pictured probably a christmas tree going here coat closet some more wainscoting now we step into the living room standard beams stained doors Looking into the kitchen, the kitchen is a beadboard ceiling. Everything's crowned out. I'll get to that in one second. Turning here, we're waiting on inspections on the fireplace. So this, I have a built-in and built-ins fireplace here. I mean, yeah, fireplace here, mantle, and then rock. And then you get a look at how the beams will look. Then we look to the left, wet bar here, cabinet going all the way to the top, rock on this wall with glass shelves. Another look at the dining room, coffered ceiling. And you already saw the view out front, so you can imagine what that's gonna look like. Then we turn here, this is the half bath downstairs. This will all be wallpaper, okay? Turning back and remember, these will be the only stained doors in the house. So this, this, and this. This will be a butcher block countertop, this, is, is one of the things I really like. If you look, you see how we wrap the crown around all of these openings? That was to give it as much detail and depth as we could, okay? This is a Sub-Zero refrigerator. It may turn out to be another brand because my understanding is, is they, they put this order off till August of 2024, and I don't think the client wants to wait that long. Okay, still moving around. Another shot of this detail. Okay, and then we come in here. This is the pantry. A little slower look this time to get you a good look at it. It's gigantic. She's going to put a piece of furniture here. This arch doorway is actually an antique door that we had perfectly restored out of Memphis, Tennessee. We're waiting for the casements to show up, so, show up so we can install it. This is the paver floor system that will go in here. It's drawn in the plans this way. We're going to put it this way. The customer agrees too, so it'll go this way. And then that part's done. And then this is the mudroom. And you see these will be 10 doors here, open pockets up here, crown wrapping the whole thing. 
open open pocket design here. Two drawers here to pull out. This is where the kids come in, they drop their stuff off. We put plugins in here so anything needs to charge, they can charge them in station, ready to go. Looking back around again. Of course, this is the breakfast area. Then we turn into the guest bedroom area. Just a regular closet, just for whatever extra space, we're just gonna use every space we can. This is the guest bedroom. And you can see pretty nice view looking up the hill. And then this guest bath, this is a door that will actually, if you're at the pool, you can come in here and use the restroom. And this is the tile that's going up on the wall. We're trying to make that niche blend in as well as we possibly can. And then this is the flooring for the bathroom. We'll probably, the grout is kind of a grayish color, maybe a little beige, okay? And we're gonna go through here, a little longer walk this time. Now, we're coming, again, front door into a little hallway, and we turn into the master. And here's your beams, giant. Now, the, the braces that you see, you notice that they're off color. That's on purpose. We got a thicker, a thicker bracket because the customer wants them a unique color and they're gonna be painted anyway. So we decided to go for strength and since they're going to be painted, we didn't worry about putting no color up. And you see where we had to open up the walls. Again, these things are so heavy. We had to beef up the structure to carry the weight. And then we turn around. And this, where I'm standing, is about where the bed will be. So you're looking at a gas, gas fireplace with a TV on top of this wall. For now, this is going to be a drywall that could change. It's one of the things I love about my job. As I said, I love to be able to pivot, okay? Now, we're into the master bathroom. Now, if you saw the upstairs, this is the same direction looking at the chicken coop. So these are four windows together. His and her vanity system, or vice versa. And then let me turn around and forgive the mess. There's a lot of trades working. We're keeping as clean as we can, but there's just so many people. There's only so much you can do. This is the master shower. If you notice, we only have two valves coming out. It looks kind of plain. And that's because the system that the customer bought is the bolt-on system. So it has the adjustable bar, the, the hand shower. Everything will be on the bar system and mount out into the shower. It'll look really cool in the end. This is the linen closet for the bathroom, water closet, and then... Later today, they're gonna to start putting up the shelves in here. And this is kind of the way we do it. We put our designs up like this, what it's gonna look like in the end. This will, this will happen very quickly. They're already cutting the electrics in. And then we have a, this is just a little storage area. We have to leave a little area for them to get to where they can service that panel I had to go in because we're running on an 800 amp power system for this house. Okay. Now, I saved something really cool for you to see. If you've watched this long, you're going to like this. Back into the living room. I'm excited. And then here we go. This is the entertainment area outside. Here's your limestone rock coming up vaulted b-board ceiling of course we do have put the trim out here now we have our post here this will have automatic you push a button and the screens will come down and keep out the bugs and whatnot during the summer while you're trying to entertain there's your chicken chicken coop here with your raised flower beds this is a we did a drop down with a walkway so they get out there easily this is some of the scrap from our beams so I think we're going to take these and cut them and put them on shelves along this wall. At the moment, the TV is to mount here. But, you know, again, we like to pivot. That could change at any time. And then here, as you can see, B-board ceiling right here. 
And now to give you a scope of how big this entertainment area is, from here to here is 36 feet. This is actually a very large pool, but this is how much pavers we put in for storage. And look at the views around this. Look at this. Is that beautiful or what? I'm just going to do a slow circle so everybody can see. This is our burn pile. We'll burn all that in the end. And then right here, we're actually going to do a rock wall. And we're going to use this dirt to bring this grate up to keep water from getting into the pool. And then we'll have waterfalls actually going into the pool itself. And then the rest of this is farmland. In the here, you see the chicken coop? They're, we're building a training corral here for the two horses that you see here. And then eventually we're going to put a barn in right here. But see how it all flows together. And you can just picture picture graduation night when the kids grow up what a place huh it's fantastic all right i'm going to close it here and upload it and share it with everyone this is sunday as you can see it's a little cool what a beautiful day low humidity the skies are really blue beautiful all right folks have a great day